This is the card in front of the sculpture for William Frost and um, Phoenix. The forest is reborn through fire. And you can see how intricate the designs are and the carving and the action. The actions of the flame in this piece. It really is a unique piece and deservedly won the first place tonight. Here at the Acton Avadosi Arts Council. We're here with uh, Mr. Frost, who won first place tonight at the Arts Council Gala. And I want to ask him what inspired that beautiful woodwork out there that he put together. Forest fires in Yosemite. Or yeah. Forest fires in general. Okay. The forest fire is a necessary part in, in the forest renewing itself. That's why it's called Phoenix. You know, the, the mythical animal that rose, that when it got old, it burst into flames and then it rose reborn from, from its ashes. Yeah. So that's kind of what that is to me. It's like fire, the, the dark parts are like a piece of wood that the fire is burning around. Uh huh. Now that's kind of what it symbolizes. Uh huh. It captures a lot of action of the flames. Oh yeah, there's a lot of movement and things. Yeah. One of the things that people should do with that is they should touch it. Yeah. Because sculpture is three-dimensional. It's meant to be touched. I see. At least I think. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. You kind of follow the curves and see where they go. Now, you said it took you 48 months of on and off yeah, cause attention I, I, to it. I start with a project and I'll do it until I kind of run dry and then I'll set it aside and then I'll come back to it and keep doing that until eventually it gets done. Uh -huh. I have one piece right now I've been working on for four years. So it's that kind of the same thing. All right, no big rush. Until it gets it right, then it's right. Yeah, well that's important, it really is. You, uh -huh. you know, you, you don't, persistence is really big in this kind of thing. Yeah. You just you stick with the idea until it's proper. Right, and now what kind of wood is it? Mahogany. It's all mahogany. I like mahogany because it's relatively easy to work with. It's a uniform grain. It sands uh, and shapes fairly easily. Uh huh. And it's sensitive to the sun, so over time it gets a, a richer patina. It gets darker, redder. I got it. Yeah, I see. And uh, American mahogany or? It's African generally. Uh huh. I see. It's up in Central America. Uh huh. I see. And you said that you. Uh, Back way back when in college you majored in sculpture. Once upon a time I taught at the University of Wisconsin up in Superior. And that was about the time the Edmunds Fitzgerald sank. And I got asked to make a monument to it. So I did a Siemens Memorial. It's a 12 foot bronze statue on a six foot granite base. I see. Barker's Island. Uh huh. And that stands there today. today. It's the last time I was there, it was there, so. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And what brought you out here to California? Job. <laughs> Hunger. I was, no, I was teaching there, and I was seeing that okay. I was making less than the, than the janitors. Yeah. And I was doubting whether I could be able to afford to send my daughters to the school I was teaching at. True, true, true. Yeah. So, uh... So we had some friends out here that said, well, why don't you come out here? We got something to do. Uh-huh. And did you spend your life in, uh... Art and sculptor and no, no. It's uh, I started out. Well, I went to undergraduates and during the Vietnam War. Of course, back in those days, the draft was 100 percent. Yeah. So when I got, went to ROTC, when I got out, I spent six years in the Air Force. Then I went back to graduate school, got out of that. Then I taught for four years. Then I got in into technical sales. Oh. Things, you know. Yeah. It was all fun. Yeah. I had a, a very. A, a variety of experiences that I've enjoyed immensely. Uh-huh. And now, though, once I've got retired, I get back to doing this full time. <clears throat> well, it looks like you picked up patience along the way somehow, because that piece took a lot of patience. Well, that's what it is, but it's, it's, it takes patience, but it's, uh, it's fun. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's, I really, really enjoy doing that. You know? Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, that's kind of what makes me get up in the morning. <laughs> Well, congratulations on your first place award, and uh, 
It's a beautiful piece. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good. <laughs> I would like to introduce our Acton Agudose Arts Council Board to you. Ooh. One of our board members almost fell down. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Um, I'm Sandy Benson and I'm the president of the Arts Council. And our board members are Kathleen Larson <laughs> and Kip, Sharon Roberts. Linda Hitzman, Ken Madsen, and I just want to tell you how hard this board works. We have had two huge events, um, one last month and one this month, and this is a great team, a great board, a great, they're great people. We work together. We sometimes might be, get a little, you know, testy. But we always get over it, and we continue with what we're charged to do, which we have committed to do, which is to bring the arts to our communities, and that's what we're proud to do. And I'm going to turn it over now to Linda Gu, who is the chairperson. Did I introduce you? No, I don't. <laughs> Linda Gu, also on our board, is the chairperson for this evening, and she and her team have put together this wonderful show. Thank you all for being here. All right. Our first award is from Dancing in Acton, and it is for Karen Swanson Magnolia Plantation. Is honoring Phoenix. The forest is reborn. Thank you. 
Bill Frost. Jones is honoring Ernest Heinemann, acting cowboy. One here. 
Thank you. Ed Peralta, acting 76. Dwight Roberts, backstage. Thank you. 